Hey everyone, for AZ Central Sports, I'm Katherine Fitzgerald, here with Bob McManaman. It's Monday after the Cardinals lost to the Raiders. They were Raiders were arguably the worst team in the NFL, but yesterday they got the 23-21 to win over the Cardinals. We just heard from Steve Wilkes, who owned up to a lot of stuff. He recognizes this team's 2-8. and eight. They are not where they want to be. There's a lot they need to change across the board. Um, something I found interesting was him talking about personnel changes. He was... A little vague as far as he didn't give us specific spots, but he is still very open to changes. It seems like they're going to see what they can do at this point in the season. What were your takeaways from that? Well, I, I just think their options are limited at anything that's going to be otherworldly or immeasurably well to help them get out of a 2-8 two, two and eight funk. It, it's impossible. So you start small. Maybe you start up front at the offensive line. We were just talking about do you put Corey Cunningham as your new right tackle? He filled in, I think, incredibly well for D.J. Humphreys. Humphreys is coming back Sunday against the Chargers when they go to Los Angeles. I thought we saw enough of Corey Cunningham that you could slide him in for Andre Smith, who, who has been very pedestrian in my book. What do you think? Yeah, so Corey Cunningham got his first NFL action, his first start last night at that left, left tackle position. And I agree, he played really well. Wilk said just now that he liked what he saw out of them. They only allowed one sack after right. allowing five the week before, which given was the wow. Chiefs instead of the Raiders. But still, for a rookie to come in at that left tackle and just have one sack, I think that speaks pretty strongly to him. The good news, I think, for the Cardinals, if there can be such a thing for a 2-8 and eight team, is that they're getting a lot of injured guys back this week. Hopefully, the, the key, the plan is they get Humphreys back, Chad Williams receiver, kicker Phil Dawson, felt good enough to play. They didn't want to risk it. He should be back. Although McCrane is a cheaper option, I'm just saying. Uh, but damn, uh, they, Robert Kemdichi and um, Buda Baker. Baker, huge loss for Buda. He'll be back as well. Um, but damn, Buchanan has a chest contusion. It sounds like it's not a thing that's going to go away anytime soon. So not that he gets a lot of playing time anymore, uh, but they do have a hole there now. Yeah, Wilkes mentioned they still need to see about Buchanan, but the rest of the guys mm -hmm. should be back Sunday take on the Chargers in LA so that'll be their next big task um one thing we mentioned at the beginning was that Wilkes is owning up to a lot of stuff yep. and I thought it was important that he mentioned that when he spoke to the team today his message again he's not sugarcoating anything but his big thing was I'm not giving up you guys aren't giving up right. and you know I think that's so important when the record's not what they want to be but at least the seems... message is being sent <laughs> if it's being listened to is another story yeah, so they've got full week of practice ahead of that game in L.A. We'll be out here all week, so check azcentral.com for more stories.